What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you doing? And finally, we have made it down to the south of France. The Mercedes AMG GTS has been an absolute dream and hopefully you've been enjoying the content that I've been posting. Just before I left for this epic road trip, a day after I collected the Mercedes, I was invited down to Surrey to experience a kind of motorsport that I had seen on TV but never thought that I would get the opportunity to sit as a passenger in one of these cars. So check this footage out over to Paul in Surrey Enjoy guys. Thank you Paul from Monaco. I am down here with Quest, the home of World Rallycross. <laughs> Amazingly, Quest have invited me down to experience firsthand the most exhilarating and potentially terrifying form of motorsport. And I'm just taking a quick moment at this tranquil pond before things start getting a little bit crazy. So this behind me is the World Rallycross Mini, which is based on the Countryman. It has got over 600 brake horsepower. It weighs about 1,300 kilograms, and it is heavily modified, which means this car goes 0 to 60 in less than two seconds in the shape of a Mini. It's actually faster off the line than a Formula One car, which is why this race series is just insane and absolutely terrifying you've got to be mad to be a driver it's got a six speed sequential gearbox so let's take a look around the car check out some of the modifications which makes this car the same sort of price as a heavily specced ferrari f12 this car is around three hundred thousand pounds so the livery is brand new for the 2015-16 championship which goes all around europe it comes to the uk at Lyddon hill and goes to norway sweden portugal and this this car is driven by Liam Duran who is famous for off-road rally driving, X Games gold medalist and all-round extreme sports legend. Liam, welcome to Supercars of London and thank you for well giving me this experience as a passenger ride no in this insane car. Do you just want to explain a little bit more about what World Rally Cross is? Yeah, uh, it's obviously the highest uh, the highest category now in rallycross is sport and rallycross essentially is uh is circuit racing with rallying mixed in so basically it's like tarmac and dirt wow. in the same lap with crazy little cars with crazy 600 so, horsepower four-wheel drive cars <laughs> tell me what this is like to drive right. four-wheel drive 600 brake horsepower 0 to 60 in less than two seconds yeah it's absolutely well, exactly as the figures say like you can imagine how crazy mind boggling it is. it's that crazy it is they're uh they're awesome fun to drive you don't yeah. really ever get the chance to go and drive them for fun you know because it's always in competition yeah so you're always focusing on trying to go fast and trying to you know beat everyone yeah so you don't get that much opportunity actually to go and mess around in them just have a bit of fun but still no matter when you drive them it's a crazy experience yeah they're uh, yeah they're they're fun well, what's your favorite race and favorite race weekend on the world rallycross series uh probably the probably the my home race the british race yeah. because i'm the only british driver in the in the, in the series Okay. Um, so you feel you've got the home so advantage. It's cool for me and it's a home track for me. I know it really well. Um, I've raced there for years. Okay. And uh, being now a British driver with a British team, a British car, racing that British track is kind of like putting all the dots together, you know? So um, there's a bit of pressure on for me to race that race, but uh, that'll be my favorite race this year. So one last question, because this year, Ken Block is going to com be competing in the entire championship. How do you feel about racing against him? Because he's so well known on YouTube and the internet space. And do you feel that there's competition there? Do you think you're going to have him? Oh, of course there's competition there. I mean, you can't knock him for what he's capable of doing, you know. He, uh, he's been doing rallycross for a little while now uh, in GRC. Yeah. And now he's coming to World Rallycross. He's got a great team and definitely a great car and a great teammate in Andreas Backwards. So uh, he's got what he needs to, to, to do well, you know. I know him really well and uh, good luck to him. It's, it's going to be a challenge for him. It's not easy. Yeah. You know, everybody in the series is a good driver. Um, and no one's gonna get it easy. I can't wait to just watch it and just see how intense it is and just to get in the car as well. Because there's just so much that must go through your head when you're driving this car. Yeah, like, you, well you can imagine, like you said, if it goes not 60 in two seconds, <laughs> you're trying to think of all the stuff that's going on to, uh, while doing that. So uh, yeah, it's it's part of it, but it's, uh, 
it's a cool, uh, cool opportunity, I guess. Though. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, you're living the dream. So thank you very much, <laughs> and I look forward to uh, going out in the car with you. Cool. Thank you. As you can see, me behind the car is getting rigged up with some GoPro, so we can get some onboard footage uh, from the car with me as a passenger. And we're going to be doing this horseshoe here, which is part of the Quest YouTube advert, which they are filming and shooting right now, which is a viral campaign. And then I'm basically jumping in with Liam, and he's going to take me and teach well not teach me but basically show me how to drive properly around a curve like this so I'm very excited I'm pretty nervous about feeling the power because it is such oh like a mini countryman with 600 brake horsepower four-wheel drive so I'm gonna jump in and we're gonna do a few runs of this just for me to get a first-hand experience of what the car is like what the world rallycross car is like and uh, here we go GoPros are running and I've just done this horseshoe here which is a shot for the advert and with Liam driving and it's just the, the amount that he's doing and he was basically saying that's less than 1% of what the car's capable of doing he was saying think about going sideways like that at 100 miles an hour over a hill with six seven other cars on the track that is how intense it is but it's I mean yeah that was wicked so just, just do two runs like that in this car you can feel the four-wheel drive but you can also feel that this car weighs absolutely nothing with 600 brake horsepower oh my god they're all checking back the drone footage which hopefully we will have access to if not link in the description for their video because uh, I bet it looks epic I don't know what to say I'm trying to just chill my blood pressure down a little bit I know that it was such a short snippet and Liam himself said that he would love to invite me down to testing and to some of the races to check out World Rally Cross first hand at an actual race weekend there is so much information that I can tell you which is all available in the description below but I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Quest for inviting me down as they launch this series of the World Rally Cross Championship on their TV channel which is available on Freeview and they're going to be doing live stream online so all of the links are in the description below if you want to check it out I have to say it is one of the most intense forms of motorsport and I've experienced it right there on such a narrow I, I literally thought he was losing it when he was pulling the handbrake up even more I was like come on catch it catch it and he just held it it was incredible so yeah what an epic day Thank you to Quest for inviting me down. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up for World Rallycross because this season is going to be insane. Definitely, definitely tune in. I will be and I'm hoping to attend some of the events this year. So back to Paul in Monaco for all of the daily content that I am actually getting up to right now. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Thanks Paul, now let's get stuck into this week down at the south of France and in Monaco. Now first video is Supercar Spotters versus Supercars Part 2. See you tomorrow.